Jamie Gurney and today I'm going to be doing a track review of the Snetterton 300 circuit using R Factor 2 on the simulator. So the Snetterton 300 circuit is three miles long. It used to be an airbase in World War II. It's quite a fast track with long straights so you can go up to high speeds there. It's got some dangerous curves if you get it wrong. The car I'm going to be using today is the Alpine Cup car. It's one that's been designed specifically for sim racing. It's very realistic and for the setup we're going to keep it stock so when we go to each track it's the same handling at each one. So this is the simulator. It's a six degree of freedom sim. That means it can move in all the directions and it's really realistic. So if you're going over a curb you can feel it tip up and if the back steps out you can feel it move. So this is a custom wheel with a servo motor, it's high quality and realistic and you can feel everything through it. As for the pedals, here I have a hydraulic brake pedal which is the main thing and it's really like a real car which is exactly what it has so it's the closest you're going to get to a real car pedal here and when you're pressing the pedals you can see on that screen over there if I press down the accelerator you can see it move on there as for the clutch and the wheel and you can record all of that as you go around the track. Here I've got a sequential gearbox which is custom so pull it back to go up a gear and push it down to go down a gear. Uh, we use R Factor 2 because it has the best physics for motion simulators. So I'm just coming out of the pits here keeping under the max speed limit otherwise we'll get a penalty. So I'm making sure not to cross over the white line here as we're exiting. Um, here, first corner, it's quite a long swooping one and you want to kind of double apex it and use all the area there. So here we're into Wilson's which is the hairpin, get a nice later apex on it, on the power on the way out. Now here we've got like a swooping left again, we we'll go into it, it's called Palmer, use all the area and then down the straight to another similar corner, Agostini, here we go, it's quite a bit more tight than the other one this one, here we're into Hamilton which is a sharp left hander, so dab on the brake, hitting the apex and powering through that, moving back over to Oggies, being careful of that curb, here into Williams, on the brakes, powering through, getting the apex and powering out there. The Bentley straight, I'm going to straight line it towards the end here, not cutting over too quickly. Get our speed up. Rundle, left hander into a uh, tight right, which is Nielsen's. I'm going to keep clear of that curb, using all the area on the track. And this one here, I'm going to go in a bit tighter than that, but it's all right. And here is a really long right-hander, so you've got to be quite careful here. Keep on the power and try and get the late apex. Going through that corner there. And then we're back onto the center straight. And that's a lap. 